Hey guys, Zombie Ryan here with a new Minecraft video. Um, today I have the rock, paper, scissors video that you guys have been waiting for and how I did it. Um, how it works is there are three buttons on each side, and when you press a button, the uh, signal goes through to here and flips one of three RS NOR latches. From there, the signal gets inverted and goes to an AND gate. And then the AND gate goes out to a central location where all the other AND gates go and gets carried to the winning scoreboard over there. Um, that's the basics of it. Uh, there are nine AND gates in total and six RS and R latches, one for each button. Um, there are nine AND gates because there's nine options that you can have in rock, paper, scissors. Um, this right here is these AND gates right here, or if you were to tie, um, which would be rock, rock, paper, paper, scissors, scissors, obviously. Um, they uh, all come from, or you take the rock and the rock from the uh, both sides and hook them into an AND gate. You take the scissors and the scissors and hook them into the AND gate, and you take the paper and the paper and hook them into the AND gate. S and then hook those all up and ship those off to the uh, scoreboard. Um, from there, I split directly off the inverted end of the RS NOR latch and um, did the blue wins side. Um, you take the rock from the blue and the scissors from the red, the paper from the blue and the rock from the red, and the scissors from the blue and the paper from the red, and hook them into their own AND gates, and then merge those and ship them off to the blue win side. And then I took those outputs from there underground here uh, directly from the RSNR latch. You gotta make sure you do that, not from the AND gate. And I hooked those um, red into the red win, so obviously the opposite of the blue win. And then I shipped a, merged those and shipped those off. So that's the basic premise behind it. It's just six RSNR latches, nine AND gates, and the hardest part about it was uh, the reset. Um, that was not easy to do. That was probably the hardest part of this. But how it works is when you press the reset button, it powers this glowstone block, powering this piston, pushing sticky piston, pushing this uh, sandstone down, completing the circuit, and that goes to uh, underground to vertically transmit to reset each one of the RSNR latches, like down here, under here. Um, there's all the uh, wiring. The piston's right up here, I believe, yeah. Piston's right up there. Um, and it just vertically transmits to uh, flip off all these uh, RS neural latches if they've been s set. So uh, this is the uh, red rock button, which flips the RS neural. So this would be on, and this wire up here would be off. But the reset button under here flips this on, powering this block. Powering this back on, resetting the RS NOR. Um, same with this one over here. It also does this one and this one. So the reset button works fairly well. And I have the reset wired up to these instant clocks that have uh, no delay on the way back. So it resets extremely quickly and sets uh, it like 10, maybe in a second. So you won't have to wait for it to reset before doing your next round if you guys care about that. Um, this has happened to be twice now. Um, from, yeah, that's basically the system for it. I haven't really added the AI yet, AI yet, because that's extremely complicated. Um, judging by my space, it doesn't really fit in here, is what I'm basically trying to say. But, uh, yeah, um, I've added a actual scoreboard, too, for the blue win. Um, so we're going to demo that. So I'm going to do rock over here, and scissors over here, and that's going to chuck one up for blue. Um, judging by how big this is, I could not do one for red, but um, I could easily uh, cram one in if I had more space, but I don't. So um, so how it works is it's a seven second display, wired up to uh, a cylindric or a rectangular uh, block cycler using uh, four rows of pistons 
It is 15 blocks long, which is the max length for a redstone signal. Um, and it powers these rows of pistons that push these blocks um, in order between themselves. And uh, each of these blocks tells where power should pass through. So these uh, torches power these repeaters, which power these blocks here. Glass does not transmit redstone energy, so it does not pass through. And it cannot power the uh, 7 segment display. But if there's sandstone in front, like there is over here, um, it will pass through, like so, and power the 7 segment display. And this right here is the uh, decoded version of the number one. And this goes up to the 7 segment display and powers on the number one. So it is also hooked up to a clock. Um, so I'm just going to reset the uh, rock, paper, scissors. So that goes off and then we'll just cycle through using the actual mechanism itself. Um, I would like to thank, uh, let me just double check his name here, uh, Daft is Brush for his uh, design on the piston cycler. Um, without him I probably wouldn't have made this. I was trying for quite a while making it and I couldn't figure it out so I asked for help on the forums and he gave me a slightly smaller non-decoder uh, schematic for it and I loaded it in, made it few taller, modified it in a bit, and then added the blocks in to make it an official decoder, and yeah. So, um, that's it for this here. Uh, I would also like to uh, mention that uh, this whole rock, paper, scissors system, I got the idea from a friend to make, um, and I did it 100% on my own, not credit, or er, no help from the outside. I just figured it out and basically just compacted the crap out of it, um, which was rather stupid. I would highly recommend, if you are going to make this system, that you make it a lot longer because I was just hurrying and rushing and I didn't care about how big it was or how small it was and how hard it would be to wire it up. And consequently, I ended up taking uh, three times four times as long as I should have making it because I uh, made it in such a small area. And it is compact as hell, though. Uh, there's one thing you have to agree on. Uh, it's The mechanism for it's extremely simple, though. So if you guys want to uh, work on your own, I'll put uh, how I did it and what's involved in it in the description in word form so you can remember it and you don't have to keep watching this video over and over again. That's all for this video. I would like to thank you guys for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the future. Peace.